Plastics are made from a byproduct of oil which makes them very strong and durable. Plastics can therefore remain in the environment for many years without decomposing. However, a new technology where an additive called D2W is added to the raw materials during the manufacture of plastic can make it oxobiodegradable. Oxobioplastic is plastic that can break down and biodegrades to water, carbon dioxide, then biomass and trace elements that disappear in whatever condition they are put. But how is this done? The introduction of the D2W into the plastic material makes it the plastic material to be intelligent. Intelligent in that you can program the material when it has to degrade. And it does not degrade physically but it is uh, is biodegradable. Different kinds of plastic like the polymer material will be facilitated by components of the earth to decompose. The, the oxygen which exists in, in the environment will combine with the hydrogen atoms which are existing in the, in the plastic material uh, to go away as water and the carbon part of it will go away or disintegrate as the humus material and also <coughs> The naturally existing uh, micro, microbial organisms will consume that material. But this could be dangerous to the environment since it may affect the organisms living underground. Plastic is plastic. And even when it decomposes, you have now to worry about where the products of the decomposition go. Um, down in the environment, there are other living things which will be assaulted by the byproducts or products of this decomposition. However, the additive technicians disagree. The other element with the D2W, it, is, it has no metal material in it. So when it disintegrates, it does not leave any trace elements which are harmful to the environment. So it is, it is good or friendly to the, to the environment. The plastic will disintegrate at different times due to the application quantities in the manufacturing process. It comes in like three grades. So depending on the, on the functionality of the plastic material, the, the, the factories will be trained on uh, applying the different grades. But could this be a solution to the long-standing problem of plastics in the country? It is not a solution. Actually, I see it as... A uh, uh, a solution which is just going to create other problems for which we shall again need other solutions. Will it then be Jesus to solve these problems as they accumulate? Environmentalists do not think this is a solution because they believe the true source of the big problem is the raw materials used in manufacturing plastics that have to be dealt with. The government appears to have failed to control the problem of poor plastic waste disposal through failure to enhance strict rules that can help stem the problem. Officials of various government agencies have apparently failed to sufficiently supervise waste dumping. As a result, polythene waste are poorly dumped and this is hazardous to the community and the people living around it. Craig Kadoda, NTV, Ecotalk. Thank <laughs> you.